Hey there and welcome to SCSS Variables. This is what we're going to be building in this video. Uh, very simple and um, I'm actually recording this after I've built this because I want to make sure you know exactly what we're going to be building. This is what it's going to look like once you're done with the video. So real quick before you jump into it, I want you to just read this. It's basically uh, the SAS Lang official website and it says that Variables, think of them as a way to store information that you want to reuse throughout your style sheet, okay? And that's exactly what we do in this video, okay? Now, one more thing that this says is that basically when it's processed, the SESS or SAS, it takes variables we define, the, the variables we define, and it basically puts it into normal SCSS like that, okay? Now, you're probably not too interested on the theory side of this, but are more interested in the implementation. So let's go ahead and without further ado, let's get started and uh, build out this application you see here. See you guys in a second. So let's go ahead and open up codepen.io, okay? Open up codepen.io and create a new pen, okay? And you should see something like this. The view might be a little different like that. Uh, either way, just open it up and make sure HTML is open and CSS, okay? Now when you get to this page, you're probably only gonna be seeing CSS, right? Not SCSS. So go ahead and select this gear icon and go ahead and choose CSS preprocessor and select SCSS and then hit save. All right, so that's how you do that. Now, I also wanna go ahead and open up Google Fonts and let's throw a Google Font into our code pen here and I'll show you how we can do that, okay? So once that loads, just go ahead and select uh, one of the fonts you want. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use Roboto, I think that's a clean font. Okay, so I'm gonna hit plus on Roboto, and then I'm just gonna select that down there at the bottom, and then you just want to basically copy the only the HTTPS part, because since we're using CodePen, okay? That's all you need, copy that, and then let's go ahead and go into our SCSS here and hit settings, and then add it as a resource down here, okay? and then hit save and close, and now we have that font, okay? So now we can use that by grabbing this font family thing in the bottom here, and by going into our CSS and just saying like dot, and we'll just say like, we'll wrap everything in a in a layout div. So we'll say dot layout, and we'll put that in there, okay? So let's go ahead and get some SCS, let's get HTML on the screen with some SCSS so we can actually see that font, okay? So in our HTML, I wanna create a div, and I want this div to have a class name of layout. Okay, now with that, we can put some text in here, but let's put a div and let's give this div a class name of header. And then in header, we'll put in a bunch of little spans. And we'll just put things like Facebook. And Instagram. And Twitter. And then now you can see that it has that font, okay? Now if we comment this out, we're not gonna have the font, okay? So first variable I wanna deal with is basically the variable, or the um, font here. What I wanna do is go to the top here and just say font, let's say primary font, and then let's put that in there, okay? And then now the way you can use this is by putting a dollar sign here and just saying primary font. So really basic stuff, that's how you use a variable in SCSS. Now let's go ahead and make it a little bit more complicated by going into our HTML here and adding a div. All right, and let's give this div a class of content or body or whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna give this another div on the bottom here, and we're gonna give this a class of footer and then we're just gonna copy these spans and put it in the footer. And then in the content, we're just gonna say content goes here, okay? So really simple stuff. Just get that in there, pause the video if you need to and write that down. And that's basically all the HTML we're gonna be writing. So I'll drag this a bit over here so we can still see it, but we're not really gonna be dealing with it. You can even close it if you want. All right, so in layout now, since we're using SCSS, we can nest. So let's say dot header inside of our layout. Let's say dot content and let's say dot footer, okay? Now I wanna deal with colors. So let's go to the top of our SCSS here and let's add in a variable called primary color. And what this color is gonna be is, let me use, I use this app called 
Uh, I actually can't remember what it's called, but it has colors. I think it's called Color Note or something. Got it on the App Store, and you can like basically just select colors. But don't, don't even worry about that. I'm just saying that because I'm going to use so, some of the previous colors I've selected, and then you can copy them down if you want. Okay, so that's going to be our primary color, the AO, A0, 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 AO, 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 all right? So let's go ahead and use this primary color on our background for our header, our content, and our footer. So we'll say background, and we'll say primary color. And then we'll just copy that and put it on each of these. And we're going to change them up. Okay, so that's our primary color. Let's go ahead and give it some a height and width. So we'll say height on the layout is, let's just say 100 view height. So the whole basically screen that's going to be showing, right? And then now, while it is that 100 view height, it's not really showing it because these aren't sized, okay? So if we were to put this background here underneath the height, it would fill it all up, okay? So what I want to do to show you that is I want to get rid of this variable and let's just say blue or something and see what that looks like, okay? So that's what's going on, okay? So let's fill out the header, content, and footer with a specific height. For the header, let's say height 100 pixels. And for the footer, let's say height is 100 pixels. And then the content can just be height auto. Or let's do this. Let's say five view height for the height on the width on the header and same with the footer. And then for the height on the content, we'll just say 90 view height. That way we know it kind of fills it up. I, got, I was thrown off there because I use CSS grid for everything and I'm not using CSS grid in this video. Which I have videos on. So if you're interested in CSS grid, check out my uh, channel. I've got videos on there. And I have courses on Udemy very, going very into depth on CSS grid. And it actually uh, show, I actually have courses showing you how to create out tons of nav bars like like the Instagram.com nav bar and uh, other nav bars, okay? Like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and continue here. All right, so that's what we have here. Now let's go ahead and introduce some other colors into here, okay? We want to introduce a secondary color, which is going to basically be our text color. So we'll say secondary color, and we'll just say ghost white, okay? Let's go ahead and use the secondary color as our color for our entire layout text. So we'll say color and we'll say secondary color. Okay, so as you can see, this is kind of how you use variables in SCSS. And that's all I really wanted to go at with this video. But we're going to do a little bit more just to kind of bulk it up and give you some actual course content here, right? Okay, so for content, we need to say, we need to actually, uh, Okay, there we go. I was missing that at the bottom. I was wondering where it was. But basically, what we need to do is we need to introduce another color. And let's just do that for the header and the bottom there. Let's say, let's give another variable and let's just say third color or tri color. I don't even know what you'd say for that. Let's, uh, let's put in like hashtag 555 five, five, and that's going to give us a nice little gray. All right, let's put that as the background color for the header. So we'll say third color and let's put that as a background color for the footer. Okay, so as you can see, this is how you use variables, and it's pretty nice. Now, I was going to end the video here, but I actually want to use it with text size too. Okay, let's first change the head view height of the header and the footer to 10 view height each. And then let's change the content view height to 80 view height. That'll give us a little more room to work with. Okay, let's go change. Let's make all these pretty small now. Let's make them a bit smaller. Let's make the content big, and then let's make this something in between okay so what we can do is we can go up here and we can say small font and we'll say 10 pixels medium font and we'll say 20 pixels and large font and we'll say 30 pixels okay let's go ahead and by default have the small font set for the entire layout okay so we'll say font size small font and that's what we got so it looks really clean now next thing we want to do is basically copy that and then in the header we'll leave it like that but then in content we want to make it really big so that the user can see our content so we'll say large font okay now in the footer what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say medium font all right so really big still but it is a difference medium font is 20 pixels large font is 30 pixels okay so yeah that's about it that's variables in scss and uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video and um, 
just read this if you want to know a little bit more about variables. It's basically the same thing we uh, we uh, talked about here. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, follow me on all my social media platforms below. And I really look forward to providing you more quality free content here on YouTube. See you guys later.